The War for Eternia continues today as He-Man and his crew finally get their sequel series, Masters of the Universe Revelations. And honest to God, guys, this feels like a 90s cartoon ripped right off the screen, put back in front of my eyes on Netflix with its beautiful animation. And this is exactly why you need to check it out. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Netflix review. Today, we're discussing part one of Masters in the Universe Revelation. This is, of course, the War for Eternia begins again in what might be the final battle between He Man and Skeletor, a new animated series from, of course, writer director Kevin Smith, who, if you follow my channel for a while, I love me some Kevin Smith. And the fact that he was creating the He-Man series, a sequel series to that original, original He-Man show, this just makes me very much excited. And I'm really much excited to talk about this. So if you guys are new here and you guys love talking movies, TV, or other geeky content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking it over here on a daily basis. As well as comment down below and let me know your favorite He-Man character as well as what your thoughts are on the show. Honest to God, when it comes down to this brand new Masters of the Universe show, the biggest takeaway that I can come about it is God, how glorious it felt to step back into Eternia with all these wonderful characters. And just from the first episode alone, you can feel the passion coming straight off the screen. It took me back to the days where my dad showed me Masters of the Universe for the first time and where I sat in front of the TV and he put it on and you know, it was an early morning Saturday, and I just remember sitting there just being blown away from not just the action, but the characters, the dynamics, the villains. Everything was so creative and unique to itself that this world really much is a mix of Star Wars and Lord of the Rings in its own sort of way. It's fantasy sci-fi, and I ate that all up as a kid, and really much this is going to be the same thing for many others who maybe are showing their kids for the first time Masters of the Universe. And if this is the first part of it all, they're going to really dig it. Because again, the animation just from the first episode alone to the very last one, because part one is five episodes. And I definitely need the rest of the season because I'm dying to see the rest of it. I don't know when the release date is for that, but I need it ASAP because the way this season ends, whew, a lot. And we're not getting into spoilers, but I'm sure many of you guys, your job will definitely hit the floor on that fifth episode's ending. But it was so nice stepping back into Eternia, seeing all the beloved characters that you loved and missed for so many years, and just seeing how the animation plays out. It is stunning. The gorgeous CGI animation, as well mixed within the 2D, the colors, the action, all of the clashing of battles and lasers and swords. It was just so great to see. Love how Kevin Smith very much took that feel from that original cartoon and modernized it for all of this. I personally was just not expecting that to really feel that way. I was expecting it for it to feel much newer, but to still, you know, I didn't expect for it to have that nice natural feel from the original. Even adding into the, the score in here, woo! Adding so greatness. When you have a great score tying into some of the fun animated action adventure things like this, it can really add a lot of depth to certain scenes. This is a dark time for many of our characters. While the first episode is exciting and exhilarating, by the end it sets up a fascinating story to see where the rest of the season will play off after this. Then of course seeing where these characters end up going for the rest of the first part, I sat there pretty enhanced with everything going on. And I will say, I wasn't expecting some of the twists and turns they actually take with the storytelling devices and who actually are the main characters of this show because that is one of the big parts about this all but i was still pretty much taken back by wow this is very exciting the thing that really much explains this entire show is exciting it's a show that you can't take your eyes off the screen because you're enjoying it so much and you're just sitting there just with a big smile on your face especially if you're a masters of the universe fan i honestly don't think any masters of the universe fans will watch this and be disappointed i think you're all gonna really dig this now if you've never seen masters of the universe that's where you may come to play because this show i don't feel like is that accessible to people who either do not remember the original show or do not know anything about masters of the universe and he-man himself and i do think that's where it kind of goes down to is that the story is a little bit to follow even for me who again i never saw all the episodes growing up but i saw a majority of them and i always ate it up but I really had to go back and actually look up a recap of some of the characters, some of the story elements and kind of elements like that, because really much I couldn't remember everything. And again, I'm not the biggest Masters of the Universe fan, 
but this is very much appeasing to the, the hardcore fans, and I, I felt like a little bit alienated from that. Again, like I said, if you're not familiar with this world, or even in general the characters, you are going to find yourself quite confused within the first episode. Now, like I said, where the first episode ends and takes us from there, it really much sets up, okay, the first episode is in a sense kind of the epilogue to the original Masters of the Universe show. The back half, the second, third, fourth, and fifth episode is kind of the continuation, the sequel series to that. And while you don't have the development or in general even some of the love for certain characters or certain even characters that do pop up in here you're still fascinated to see where this fantasy story ends up going and I can at least give it the pro to that that that's the direction they took I just think in the end of the day maybe they should have started with a whole brand new world of He-Man. Because lore-wise, there is a lot to really uncover and dive into, and I don't think the show does it too well, and again, appeases more to the hardcore fans than, say, the newer fans, or even people who, again, don't remember everything about Masters of the Universe. Plus, with it only being five episodes, by the time when you get to the fifth episode, it finally starts to ramp up, and now you're sitting there like... I gotta wait now. At the same time, that can also be kind of a good thing depending on who you are because now you're totally invested and like me, I'm excited to see with what they do with part two. Masters of the Universe Revelations part one is an exhilarating, fun, and entertaining time for its first five episodes. While again, it ends in a, such a big cliffhanger that have my jaw hit the floor and I'm like, damn! What are they going to do now? And it in a way that made me so excited to see what the future of this show will contain. Kevin Smith does what he does best. He appeases to the hardcore fans while at the same time kind of adding this new layer of nuance and fun that new audience members will be able to dive into here. This is a brutal show. It's actually quite dark at times for many of the characters. And again, if you're a fan of Master of the Universe, the original show, you're going to eat this up. If you're not and you've never seen Masters of the Universe, you might come into this a little bit confused use that certain elements especially when it comes down to lore you just let the story take you where it's going you might find some entertainment out of this the action's great the animation is beautiful the score is amazing and adds to every single sequence and in a sense this is actually a more of an emotional show than i thought it was going to be all it does take that 80s and 90s edge to it where it feels like you're really much sitting down watching a saturday morning cartoon it adds a modernized feel to it that absolutely makes this one of the most fun fantasy shows that we've gotten in quite a while, and I think you're in for a little bit of a delightful surprise. So with all that said, I'm going to give Masters of the Universe Revelations Part 1 a B+. You once again guys for clicking on this and i can't wait to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section make sure to head on over to sandwich on films on how to see films early and of course the big thing to you and a big thing to my patreon supporters because without you i would not be able to do this so of course until next time stay classy